I'm going to talk to you guys about stripping the anodizing off of your original uh, chrome. Uh, we were going to try and run these um, original ones because I just wanted to run original chrome. Um, you know, I mean, I like the stainless stuff. It looks really nice, but um, this car I'm kind of doing all like a lot of original stuff. So original bumpers, original chrome and stuff like that. So these are actually original, not not reprop repops. These are actual original ones. We we're polishing them up, and they look kind of dull, and they were a little shinier before. And what you do to get them to look good, I mean, it's it's a bit of work. Okay, is you use oven cleaner, and I've done this before. I've seen videos online, and some people say, hey, you put it on there for like four minutes. Um, no, <laughs> I don't think so. I think it was like an hour or something like that, and. You, I had to put a few coats on. I did my, my other trim on my uh, Nova, and uh, it was a long time. So, you know, check them. I'm not saying each trim might be different, but I had to put them on there for a long time, and just coat them with uh, oven cleaner. And what that does is that will actually, um, that actually eats up the, the, the anodizing on there. Um, it's one of the only things I think that no, I know that actually does this. So, oven cleaner, and you know, I'm just using the Walmart stuff. People say, oh, use the easy off. You know, um, honestly, I think the chemicals are all the same. Uh, whatever active chemicals in that is probably in this one. should be just fine. And uh, coat them with that and leave it for a little while. They said leave it for like four minutes. Hmm. Maybe if you're just trying to clean the anodizing, uh, you might leave it for a really short time, but I don't even know if I tried that using this to clean anodizing, it might etch it and uh, then you'll have an issue. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna etch it off and then we're going to polish them. We already did one of the moldings and kind of sampled it that way and I would suggest you do the same. So I would say do you know, like one of the moldings, it doesn't matter if you have an extra piece sample that piece first figure out your system and then do the rest of them before you do it um, but we had to wait quite a while on these they took like over an hour and just sitting in the in the oven cleaner but then again once you're done with that you definitely want to rinse them off you want to get this acid neutralized whatever it is in this product that uh, etches that stuff rinse them off really good with water and then well, i'll show you the next part of the process here then the next thing you use is a, either a Baratex wheel or it, what it is is basically it's stacked up scotch Bright um, on a buffing wheel and it's called a Baratex wheel and for it's for polishing and it's the easiest way to get the final little bit of anodizing off and use this real quick and then use one of your wheels with polish you know one of your you can get these at Harbor Freight um, even use a, I usually use a, a grinder, the, a die grinder to use it though, because you want that extra speed. That's not in your, uh, you know, you don't, you can't really do that with um, with a drill. So um, you want something a little faster than that. So I usually use a die grinder and then uh, and a and a and then a polishing wheel, and then you'll get a really nice clean chrome piece. Um, that that looks a little different, you know. I didn't. The anodizing or the uh, stainless steel has a different color, slightly different. So I wanted to get that original um, aluminum color. Uh, so we're actually probably going to clear coat these. In fact, we clear coated those, and I uh, have to strip that off. So the oven cleaner won't really take the if it has somebody has cleared over them. You might have to use paint stripper first. So it all depends on what was happening there. If you know what was on it, if it was just raw aluminum, then you can go straight with the oven cleaner. And then you'll see that they'll kind of turn like a different color, like a darker color. And then like they'll be kind of flat and kind of dark when the, all the anodizing's off of them. And then they'll polish really quickly with just those two things. You don't need to sand them or anything like that. You just use just the, the uh, Baratex wheel and go straight to the polishing wheel. So that's how you do that. If you want to try and do your own trim, talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe.